Neptune was discovered because its gravitational influence caused perturbations or fluctuations in the orbit of Uranus. Pluto was discovered because of perturbations caused in the orbit of Neptune. Each planet in the solar system has a potent gravitational influence on every other planet. These gravitational forces and their fluctuations, including those of the moons, are the sources of most seismic activity on any planet. The combination of certain intensities cause major earthquakes. Whenever several planets align themselves, increased seismic activity is the result. Earthquake-sensitive areas then react accordingly. Delicately balanced areas in the Earth's crust are then shaken. The Earth is a very sensitive organism of the solar system. Its balance can easily be upset. Underground nuclear explosions will yet prove to be as lethal and dangerous as surface explosions with perhaps greater consequences. A similar situation would be that of a junkie fatally addicted to heroin, shooting devastating explosions into his life system. The body can only take so much before total collapse. From 1982 to 1984, the planet Earth will be shaken in a manner that it has not been shaken for over 500 years. Nuclear blasts have altered the subterranean balance within the Earth's crust. The San Andreas fault line will most definitely react to this time and California will be devastated by earthquakes. Not only California, but the entire Pacific coast of North America, Central America, and South America will tremble and rock. Japan is also exceptionally vulnerable, as is Hawaii and Alaska. Without a doubt, the time comes. Without a doubt, every underground nuclear blast weakens the Earth's crust, especially in areas near fault lines such as New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah. Most likely, nothing preventative will be done before catastrophe. Will you visit San Francisco or Los Angeles in 1984? Will you go in 1982? Will you go now?